Hello, this is Jam Michael Studios, and I am a doyer, and Mikey Batman also helped on this, so he will be doing a couple. Hello! So, um, the Disney Castle was just recently released, so is this just the beginning? Are they going to make more Disneyland or Disney World sets? That's what we are going to further explore. I think that the possibility is about a 4 out of 10 because this it has nothing to do it's based off of the Disney World design but it also has some scenes from the movies um the spinning wheel from Sleeping Beauty um and I don't know the other ones <laughs> so let's take a look and we're going from biggest to smallest size some of them will be fully fall and bang and some of them will be just like an area of the ride that's like really small and probably cost 20 to 30 dollars so first we have mickey ferris wheel it will be a lot like this ferris wheel that you see over here um but it instead it's gonna have the mickey symbol in the front so it's basically going to be exactly like that and there will be cages on the side like as you can see over here um this will probably be varied around 250 to 350 dollars because that's how much this was i'm pretty sure and it could have a motor, which would be really cool, in my opinion. So next we have the Haunted Mansion. And um, I'll be doing this one. So as you can see, it'd be a lot bigger. But, like, it's just so an example of how it's going to be in the inside. And then over there, um, like, how it will open and the ideas, like, as you go through the ride and the Lego. And what I think that would be really cool is if they could do the stretching room, like, in the beginning where they make the room appear to be stretching. Oh yeah, and then it has like the quicksand and the girl with the alligator. Yeah, there's some really cool scenes um, that they could do, like playable functions, um, like they could have the portrait slide open. Yeah, up. that'd be cool. So next we have Big Thunder Mountain, and the reason why this one's next is because the other two ones that would be, three ones that would be big, we're going to just take apart from that ride. So what would be cool is it could have the fun, and this is only half of what it would be, so this one would probably be, oh, how much do you think the Haunted Mansion would be? About, uh, like, for that size, that'd be 25 but if you made it bigger, it'd probably be, like, 50 to $75. No, if it, um, on the scale that it's at right now, it would be $100, but if you yeah. doubled that, that would be, like, 200 to 250 but if you made it really stretchy, like the stretchy things, that yeah. would make it like 250 Um, So over here, this is half of it. And then there will also be the area where you go up and the bombs are exploding on, oh, on the I side of you. And then you come out. And you come out right here, if you can see my mouse over here. Um, And then you will go straight down and then you go around the mountain. And then where this is, that will be... Right down the mountain. Sorry. And on this side over here, this will be the place where you board the train so that would be really cool and I really badly hope that that happens and I think that what would actually be cool is if it switched sides you came out over here and over here was the dark cave because of this um I one of my favorite parts you get to go through that so next we have the Dumbo ride um so this as you can see in this little scene it has Mickey and the little Dumbo and then over here they have like the um, Ferris wheel thing, and then maybe they could, like, use a spinny piece for Legos to spin around the Dumbos, and then you can make multiple, and then you can make it go up and down, like, you can use a little function. So if they had and all the functions, it would it. cost a lot more, though, so if you had the functions, it would cost probably about 150 if you didn't have the functions, if you didn't have the up and down function, but just a spinning function, probably about, you're looking from 80 to to $100. Yeah. Um, but still, that's a pretty... A good price for a license set is what this it would be, so that's always bumped up the price. Um, so next we have the Tower of Terror. Um, so it's going to have maybe just a part. You could do this either way, and the reason why I did this because I would have it where um, it has the up and down elevator, but and none of this feature. other size. But what, you, but you could do is you, if you really badly wanted to, you can take the full thing, and it would be like the same price as the Disney Castle. And it could like have the shop, and it could, ha and that would be cool if like they could have the motor. Of and the then the restaurant that's inside. Oh yeah. And then, but if you just took the elevator up and down, that'd probably be about like forty to fifty dollars. But like, but if they did a really good job with the, the um Hollywood Tower, and then it's like, and then pieces are broken off, 
That would make it a little bit more. Yeah, but if you did like this whole thing instead of just an elevator shaft, that would probably be the same price as Disney Castle. And you would have the back open, but you would only the front would be covered. And you would have the back open just like you do the Disney Castle set, um, like right back here. And the elevator shaft would be right here. Um, downstairs, right, and then the restaurant okay. area, and then also where you get on in the line where you board. So next we have Splash Mountain. So you could take this many different ways. You could take, you for sure have to have this drop. Um, so you could have it where... You can use a little wheel thing to make it come down. Yeah, you could take it where it's just the drop, or you could take a when, large... Like, when they have like the happy animal yeah, robot things. Um, and then you could take a large section of, of it out of here. Like, instead of just keeping this waterfall, you can have maybe this, and then this area over here where oh, it goes up. Come... And then and then you could go down, and then also have one area inside, and you'll be able to, um, where the booth stops, where you get on and off the ride. So if, if we do the small playset, wait, did we do it for this? Yes, we did. Um, if you we do the small playset, that would probably be about 30 to $50. But if you did the whole big thing, that'd that, be like $250. More than that, maybe. No, because you're just doing this area, and this area. In this area. But if it came with the animals and stuff like that, oh, it'd yeah. be a lot more. Um, it'd be so like it'd be like four hundred. No, probably be like three hundred. No, but there'd be a lot. Fine. Um. So next we have Space Mountain. This would probably um, I mean, there's two ways you could take this. This could probably not be a playset, or you could just take a chunk and have a really cool build for these. If you Which made it be like twenty five dollars. If you made it just the outside um to make it look cool. That would probably, like, just this area, like the outside, it would be probably, like, a hundred <coughs> to a hundred fifty dollars, but if you just did a small section, um, to have these cool little things, that would probably be about thirty to fifty dollars as of all the small sections. Very mm, true. Like, but if you have But I don't really know what you'd put on the sides, because all it is is stars. Um, next is the Indiana Jones rides. That's my favorite. It is? Yeah. Okay, so, um, with this, it would be cool to have the little scene. It'd have, like, the car, and it'd have, like, the snakes, which would take, like, a really long time to do, but it'd be totally worth it. And then have, like, that pyramid, uh, Egypt thingy. And then, like, we could have, like... A light brick for the eyes? Yep, and then we could use, like, little, like, net strings for that. And then we could maybe... Um, have some rocks around and make it a little bit more detailed, like so in the actual ride. Every single thing that you see in this picture will be in it, and on the back wall of this area, and on the back wall of the oh. wall that you're looking directly at, will be a temple, like the back of a temple. Um, oh yeah, and like a temple. so that way, if you place these all, you could place like the front of the ride, and it will still you won't see any of the ride until you go around to the back of it. So next, we have the Peter Pan ride. This would be a really small set because um, the cool thing would, would be this. You could have Captain Hook and the alligator scene or something else like with the Indian. You could have a scene from Peter Pan um, that's going on. It would probably be about 20 to $30. But if the ship would be a little bit more. No. Having, you're not going to have this whole ship. You're just going to have like characters and maybe a small boat and the alligator. Oh. Okay. Um, so, $20 to $30 we're looking at here. Okay. And the Pirates of the Caribbean ride, I'm pretty sure that this is the last one. Um, let me see. Yes, this is the last one. Okay. So, basically what you see in this picture is what it would be exactly like. It would have a bridge that goes underneath, and you would have this little area over here. Maybe you could have somebody on the porch up there. Who knows? Um... So basically just any one of the scenes from the Pirates of the Caribbean ride where you're strolling through the middle town. You could have Jack Sparrow popping out of a barrel somewhere. Oh yeah, and then you could like have a little stick thing to pop them mm -hmm. up and down. So I actually think we should put the Peter Pan ride after this, but whatever. Um, because this would actually probably be about 40 to $60. Um, and, and, you, and you could still have the back. Um, this could be the back, so you still won't see any of the ride. This is you, just a little idea. Yeah. You could... Use like you could Lego could make like a music thing for the Pirates of the Caribbean ride, and it could like do the Yoho theme. 
But um, probably not. That wouldn't be that good. So, thank you for watching. This is probably our longest video yet where we go through a slideshow. Um, but anyways, thank you for watching. I'll be sure to subscribe and comment which one you would want to see the most out of all of these. And be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Hasta la vista!